King so much for the journey that he took. And that's where we are today. I think he'd be a little disappointed, but at the same time, he would say, right up for Martin Luther King, for peace, for justice, for equity. And that is what I'm, these people who are sheltering here today, there is no justice. We know, we even voted on that. They cannot be taken away unless there is a wonderful shelter for them. So here's to those who are homeless. May they find justice today and always in this incredibly challenging new year. Um, I'm not giving it up for whatever we've got coming up to this coming Saturday, but hey, um, I know we're all here for justice. And we are here for Black Lives Matter, which is cer certainly what Martin Luther King was about, as well as all lives, but it's black lives that really, really we need to care about today. Murder by police. Okay, Let's see if I can see this. Michael Brown, unarmed black, 19 years old, killed in Ferguson by police, protected by laws in Missouri that allow them to shoot unarmed people running down the street. He'd been asked, why don't you walk on the sidewalk? And then he was murdered by Darren Wilson, policeman doing his job. A.K. Gurley, unarmed black man walking down the stairwell at an apartment building in New York, killed by police on routine vertical check of the stairwell. Frightened because someone was walking on the stairs, not taking the malfunctioning elevator. Eric Garner, unarmed, killed by police. Daniel Pantaleo in Staten Island, strangled in a chokehold, banned under New York police guard guidelines for selling cigarettes. An unarmed 19-year-old, Timothy Stansbury, shot and killed by police on the roof of a housing project in 2004. In Bedford, Strevisant, because he was there. Unarmed 13-year-old Nicholas Hewer Jr. shot inside his apartment project because police mistook his play gun for a weapon. Unarmed 15-year-old Randolph Evans, playing at a housing project on Thanksgiving Day, shot and killed by police. John Crawford, Ohio, Ezel Ford, Los Angeles, Dante Park at California, murdered by police. Armand Bennett shot three times in the head by police seeing him driving through upscale New Orleans. Unarmed, mentally disabled Ezel Ford shot three times for bizarre behavior. John Crawford shot inside a Walmart in Ohio holding a toy pistol picked up in the store where toy guns were displayed. Does that remind you of Christmas Eve this last year? Jeremy Lake murdered by police walking down the street in Tulsa with the officer's daughter. 12-year-old Tamar Rice murdered in a playground, talking on a cell phone and holding a toy gun. Leslie McDonald, Langane McDonald, Chicago, shot dead because of the 21-foot rule. You know what that one is? 21-foot, yeah. <laughs> okay. Handling a knife, his back to police shot 17 times. And Mario Woods, shot multiple times by multiple police. Which of the 20 shots killed him? Murdered by police, immune to prosecution, murdered by police, especially of unarmed blacks, unarmed children, unarmed on the streets, in stores, at home, unarmed or posing no threat. And now, dead.